it's interesting how they're hypnotizing these young people to push their agenda. And then when they're bullied online, they're quick to jump to the defense of these children, but not really defending them. Because if they were really defending them, they would not have them on the front line, but they will jump to their defense and say, this is a child. How can you attack a child? And that right there is the purpose of why they push them to the forefront because people will think they're smart, people will think they're cute, and people are more prone to protect a child. Now, I'm not going to be on this too long, but I will say that when I first saw that video, when she frowned and gave this look at President Trump, the first thought that came to my mind was demon possession. And another thing that's quite interesting is, as the leaders were coming out, they showed her, they had the cameras on her. For whatever reason, they had the cameras on her and she was looking around as if she was looking for Trump to give him that death stare. And the moment she saw him, her face immediately went cold. And this was the expression that she gave him. Now, in the scriptures, your eyes are the windows to your soul. And you can look in her eyes and you can tell the condition of her soul. Now, this is Greta Thunberg from Stockholm, Sweden, and she's an alleged environmental activist. And she was talking about climate control and how uh, the leaders had destroyed her childhood. No, her parents destroyed her childhood. Now, she's 16 years old, but when I first saw her, I thought she was a whole lot younger. And then later I found out that she had some type of disorder. But even when it comes to the Bible and disorders in the Bible, they are a form of demon possession. Now, it's unfortunate that this is the cause of why so many young people are full of depression and have thoughts of suicide. Even at the youngest age, there were young people that had hanged themselves, committed suicide. Young people should not be worrying about climate control at that age. They should be enjoying their lives. And like that video I posted of that demon in the library, young people should not be exposed to that. They should be playing hopscotch, hide and go seek. When I was growing up, we had like nursery rhymes that had political, um, it had a political tone to it, but young people weren't into politics at that time. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder where you are. Ring around the rosy. Pocket full of posies. Now there's some significance to that. But we didn't know what that was. This was adults trying to um, inject politics into our spirit. So even while I was growing up, the brainwashing and conditioning was extremely subtle. Today, it's not substance, it's out in the open. Where they're teaching gay sex education at an elementary school level. They have drag queens visiting libraries and schools. They're teaching homosexuality in schools, in children cartoons, 
in children's songs, and they have young children that's producing songs for young people with an agenda message in that song. My granddaughter came to me this morning and she was saying, Granddad, I don't want the bad guys to shoot me. And I said, what? I don't want the bad guys to shoot me. I said, where did you get that from? And she says, I don't know, but I found out later from uh, her grandmother that there's a little girl that's got a song out and she dedicated it to, um, was it one of these schools that were shot up? So these young people, and my granddaughter just turned six, and already she's being exposed outside of the home to mass shootings. And you have so many young people that's living in fear, even older people living in fear. I saw a news article just this morning about there's an increase of suicide among Navy and Marines. Navy men and Marines are committing suicide. So if, if it's got that type of effect on military men, adult men, just think of what that type of energy or knowledge would do to a child. So you have so many children growing up in fear and afraid of climate control, afraid of the world coming to extinction, saying, I don't want to die. I don't want the world to live. You shouldn't be worried about that. But this is what the media and the demon craps are planting inside these children's minds. So I had to talk to my little granddaughter, man, and let her know that nobody, no bad guys. She said, the bad guys are going to shoot me. And then she started praying. I prayed that the bad guys protect me from the bad guys. And I'm looking at her. I said, bro, I said, baby, I said, nobody's going to hurt you. Nobody's going to shoot you. No bad guy is going to harm you. But it's sad that parents can only teach their child so much. And I know you have parents out there and even adults that say, I'm going to take my child out of public school. Now, my granddaughter is not in a public school. But I know there's adults that say, I'd rather homeschool my child because then I'll know exactly what type of information that's being fed to my child. But you can't stop that because sooner or later, she's going to have or he's going to have to walk to the store by themselves. They're going to meet friends that's being exposed to this demonic system. And they're going to share that information with your child that you homeschooling. And it's going to create conflict within that child. It's like when your child goes to school and even college, and you have a professor or a teacher telling them that God don't exist, but they grew up in a Christian or a Muslim home. They grew up with some type of spiritual background. But now they're going to college, you're telling them to go and listen to the teacher and get good grades, and the same teacher now is off the subject of uh, preparing their minds for work and they're telling them God don't exist. They're telling them that it's normal to have two mommies and two daddies, creating confusion in your child, talking about mass shootings, gun control, climate change. And you have young people, I've seen it where young people, again, elementary school level kids, is speaking bad about President Trump. My granddaughter came home one day and mentioned President Trump, but she didn't say it in a negative light. She just said he's the president of the United States. But you have adults that's feeding negativity to these children's mind. And a lot of these kids are on overload, hence which caused them to be depressed, which caused them to commit suicide, which caused them to feel that they now have to do something about it. Like in this girl's speech, she was saying, the nerve of you coming to me for answers. 
See, you're coming to us for children. You're coming to us children for answers. And she targeted Trump and not the president of her own country. Trump was her target because Americans, and again, the world can only do what Americans allow them to do. So when you show you have no respect for leadership in your own country, when you show that you have no respect for your own president, then you can't expect other nations to respect your president. So now he has to demand respect while being pushed down by the people that he's supposed to be representing, that he's supposed to be safeguarding and protecting. But instead, they're pushing back saying, we don't want you to protect us. We want our borders open. We want illegal immigrants to come in here. We want our country to go into recession. We want our taxes to go up. We want to pay more taxes. We want drag queens. We want uh, transgenders. We want homosexuals. We want the parades. We want to put up a satanic statue and build satanic temples while tearing down the church and attacking Christians, taking Bibles out of school, prayer out of school, and brainwashing the preacher saying that if you don't preach what we tell you to preach, then we're not going to fund you. So this is the world that we're living in. And young people should not have to have this type of weight on their shoulder. It's not their battle. The adults are supposed to be working and fighting for their future so that their future can be bright and prosperous. Instead of fighting because you lost an election in 2016. So it's sad that they, they, they're pushing these young kids to the forefront. And now this young girl is being bullied. Memes are being made about this girl. Um, when I look at her, I see someone that's been uh, possibly hypnotized, brainwashed, and she's full of demons. Her face went cold when Trump walked by. He walked by, she was smiling, she was looking around as if she was looking for him. And I'm going to tell y'all something, demons will look for you. If you are a threat to the kingdom of darkness and this world, demons will seek you out. And this girl looked like she was seeking him out and the minute she laid eyes on him and he had no idea that this girl, this 16 year old girl was gazing at him like that. He walked by and she gave him a death stare. You could see the demonic activity in her eyes. Your eyes are the windows to your soul. And this is what they locked in on when he walked by. That was the expression that she gave President Trump when he walked by. Not her own president, no other president but Trump because of the fact that Trump is the target of the world. So feedback, tell me what you think, subscribe, share and like this video, click on the PayPal link and the cash app and leave a donation. Until next time, I'm fearless.